Welcome back to Anatomy and Physiology on Catalyst University. In the previous video, we discussed some strategies for really learning the innervation to the muscles in the posterior forearm. These were the extensor muscles. Now what we're going to do is we're going to switch gears and do the anterior forearm musculature. And so I've got here an arm drawn and the major nerves that we have. Now this is of course not drawn to scale, but I think you'll get the idea. We've got a radial nerve here. We know that the radial nerve bifurcates from the previous video. The nice thing about the anterior forearm is the radial nerve plays no role. So we don't even have to worry about the radial nerve. In fact, we only had to worry about the radial nerve in the extensor compartment, the posterior compartment. Everything here was some part of the radial nerve or some branch of it. Okay, In the anterior forearm, everything is either ulnar or median, or some branch of that. So we don't even need to worry about the radial nerve. On the ulnar side of the forearm, so this is the medial side, we have the ulnar nerve here in green. And then running roughly down the middle of this, we have the median nerve. Now one thing about the median nerve that's important here is the median nerve uh, goes all the way down the forearm and it makes its way into the hand. We'll eventually talk about innervation of the hand muscles, but note that the median nerve goes all the way down there. At some point here, the median nerve gives off a branch, and this one is the anterior interosseous nerve. Don't confuse this with posterior interosseous nerve. The posterior interosseous nerve actually came from the deep radial nerve, which came from the radial nerve. So the posterior one is radial in origin. The anterior version is median nerve in origin. Okay, So keep this in mind. And then we also have, of course, the ulnar nerve. And it's not shown here very well, but note that the ulnar nerve also makes it all the way to the hand, just like the median nerve. Okay, now for the flexor muscles in the forearm, the anterior compartment, in other words, we have a bunch of layers, okay? Uh, we have a superficial layer, and there's four muscles in that. Uh, the most lateral is pronator teres. Then we have flexor carpi radialis, palmaris longus, and flexor carpi ulnaris. Okay. These are our four superficial muscles. There is a second layer deep to this, which is called the intermediate layer. We don't have that shown, but the intermediate layer contains flexor digitorum superficialis, or FDS, okay. but it is directly deep to these. So these superficial muscles are layer one. The intermediate layer, which is layer two, only has that one muscle, flexor digitorum superficialis. And then layers three and four, are these deep layers, and the layer three has two. It has flexor pollicis longus, FPL, and flexor digitorum profundus, FDP. And then underneath those, you can see this one in green. This is layer four, again, just one muscle, pronator quadratus. Okay. So again, we can think about this in terms of four layers. So coming back here, let's talk about the muscles first that are innervated by the ulnar nerve. Now, the most obvious one would be flexor carpi ulnaris, right, FCU. Now, this one is fully innervated by the ulnar nerve. This FDP, where it says medial half, we will come back to this. But just for now, understand that the flexor carpi ulnaris is innervated by the ulnar nerve. Now, with the exception of that muscle, all the other muscles in the superficial and intermediate layer are going to be innervated by the median nerve right here. So again, if we look at this picture, if we exclude flexor carpi ulnaris, which is innervated by the ulnar nerve, we're left with pronator teres, flexor carpi radialis, palmaris longus, and then also we have the muscle in the intermediate layer, which is flexor digitorum superficialis. Now, in terms of this flexor digitorum profundus, FDP, you can see here it's got split innervation. So its medial half is innervated by the ulnar nerve, and its lateral half is innervated by the median nerve. The way I like to remember this is you've got flexor digitorum profundus. The name profundus comes from profundity, meaning it's profound. It's a big muscle. It's profound. It's got to have multiple innervations. Okay? Its innervation is therefore profound. It has two innervations. That's the way I remember it. So again, the medial half of this muscle, which is closer to the ulnar side, is actually going to be innervated by the ulnar nerve. And then the lateral half, which really is more just in the middle of the forearm, it doesn't actually go all the way to the thumb side because we have another muscle over there, uh, that's closer to the median nerve, so it's innervated by the median nerve. So just remember, FDP, flexor digitorum profundus, has profound innervation. It's split. Okay. 
every other muscle is innervated by the anterior interosseous nerve. Now that's not very much, but again, if you kind of remember these two things, then every other muscle is innervated by anterior interosseous nerve. So those ones that are remaining would be FPL, flexor pollicis longus, and then the really deep one, pronator quadratus. And if this looks complicated, just reason through it. We have one muscle that's fully innervated by ulnar nerve, FCU, flexor carpi ulnaris. Every other superficial muscle and the intermediate muscle are all innervated by the median nerve, pronator teres, flexor carpi radialis, palmaris longus, and flexor digitorum superficialis. And then that FDP, flexor digitorum profundus, which is in layer three, it has profound innervation. It's split between median nerve in its lateral half and ulnar nerve in its medial half. And then the only other two muscles that remain are flexor pollicis longus and pronator quadratus. And those are both innervated by anterior interosseous nerve. So really, instead of trying to just do rote memorization for learning every single one of these monotonous innervations, think about it in terms of a strategy like this, okay? And actually, in the next video, we're going to continue into the hand, and we're going to see that both the ulnar nerve and median nerve actually have some innervation there. So we'll talk about those uh, in actually the next video. So hopefully this made sense to you. If you want more information on the posterior forearm, go back and watch the previous video. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for future videos and notifications. Thank you.